Well, let's get out on the lake. It's the first September day. It actually feels a little like fall's coming. So, let's give it a shot. Got a little rainbow going. <laughs> it's raining somewhere. This time of year in Florida, it's raining someplace. So here are the lures that I highly recommend for you to start out with and uh, for you to start out teaching your kids. Um, they're real easy to rig. They're inexpensive. You see two bags for five bucks. Uh, they're made by bidders. Uh, it's a North Florida product, I think. Um, but I'll go ahead and put the link to their website. This one is their little uh, paddle tail swim bait. Uh, it's called a Naked Swimmer. That's in Houdini, uh, my favorite color. And this is their Vibe Worm, uh, which is also in uh, Houdini, which is their which is the color that I'll be using today. So let's rig up this Vibe Worm and give it a shot. I like to use a 4 aught or a 5 aught hook. It tends to make a nice keel on the bottom. It makes it come back nice and straight and gives it a better action on, on the top for that tail to flap around. So the trick is you take your hook and you want to have the hook, this little sickle of the worm facing the hook and the opening of the hook facing the opening of the sickle. And then you just sort of insert to about the, the length of this, the length of uh, your, your bend shank. Make sure you come out aligned. Oh, that's an unhappy dog. And then you want to come back in aligned with this sickle. So I'm going to align it right there. And this one has a slot. They don't always align, so make sure you're... The key is to align with this sickle, not so much with the slot. If they're out of alignment, then uh, make sure you align with the sickle. All right, let's go. So let me show you what it looks like. Oh, he spit it. <laughs> he spit it out. Didn't really get a good hook set in it because the camera was in my way. All right, well, decent demonstration. And every few casts, take a peek and make sure your hook tip is still nicely hidden. Okay, so another way to fish it, other than just kind of steady rolling it back, is to cast it just into the grass, give it a quick rip, and let it sink right there at the edge of the grass. Now it'll sink very slowly, so you gotta let it soak for quite a while. And uh, the little bit of uproar that it causes on the surface usually attracts something, or can at least. You can fish this across open water, and uh, I've had some good strikes that way. But it's really most effective up close to the edge, uh, across lily pads, and uh, grass just near cover it's unweighted now you can put a worm weight a bullet weight you can use a weighted hook it's a really versatile lure in that it's it can be fished slow on the bottom or it can be fished as a moving bait sub surface or you can do what I'm doing and use it as a kind of a buzz bait Just let it drop right there on the edge. Let's see if anybody takes it. There we go. Yeah, little dude. So, when you're teaching a kid to fish, 
you really need to teach, I think, teach them to fish, to enjoy the, the process of fishing. And catching a fish is just a bonus of having done it well. This little dude, it's got to be, what, seven inches? That's the smallest bass I've caught in here in a long time. Well, let me put him back in. He's bleeding. Hi, dude. So on that one, I, I, I allowed it to drop to the bottom. I let it soak for a while. And then I bumped it just a couple of times. And that little guy picked it up. Okay, let's talk about color a little bit. Um, here's the two colors I've been using primarily of this particular lure. Um, you'll notice one is much darker than the other. <laughs> I, this one, I believe it's called Houdini. I don't recall the name of this one. I like this color, and I'll tell you why. Up here in North Florida, the, the water in most of the lakes uh, is tannic, that the water is stained like a tea color. And you can see it dribbling down. It's clear water clean there's not much suspended in it there's not a whole lot of mud or, or silt suspended in the water but it is uh, it is stained so what I like to do is use a lure that's just a little darker than the water and tending towards green or brown now if I'm going to deeper water if I'm fishing in six seven feet of water eight feet of water where it gets darker and maybe a little mercury on the bottom um, I'll go with something dark red with black or black and blue or just black. That's it, that drop there along the edge. See if there's something there. It's got some interest in it. It's on the bottom. Here we go. Ooh, this guy's got little shoulders. Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh, he came off. I can't believe that. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That was a good fish. All right, let's, let's work this little edge. Let's see if there's a bass patrolling this edge, looking for some victim. Okay, so the trick is to cast it close to the edge of the grass, a little closer than that would be better, and then bring it back with a nice steady pace, making plenty of racket on the surface. Straight up the, the edge, and then you want to bubble it back along the grass line, keeping it as close as you can without getting hung up in there. And there it is. There you go. And usually you'll find some little guy patrolling the edge of the grass. So there's another teeny guy. Okay, so not exactly a giant. <laughs> but for a little kid fishing, this is a lot of fun. Go home. All right, so don't be afraid to make multiple casts in the exact same spot. Because a lot of times, those first three or four casts are just enough to get their attention. You can also use the same technique of ripping and dropping right along the edge of this grass line. Where you give it a quick rip and then let it drop. Have some patience. Let it soak for a little while. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Get out there. Remember, it's bitters. They make a good product.